Alrighty, fans, farm life. I'm gonna start uh, this major test on this solar inverter. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this freezer in and that refrigerator in, and then I'll get to go get a shop light and plug that in. But uh, right now we're sitting. Uh, it's best to charge up a while ago. It's 14.4 volts. Go ahead and get the inverter on. All right, that's reading uh, 13.8. Let's go ahead and get this plugged in. This one first. So that refrigerator. Okay. It's not even kicked on. We're looking at the. Uh, zero watts on that one so right so it hasn't kicked in yet let's go verify that it is plugged in and working turn the light on the light works okay so it is on yep okay all right i'm gonna go ahead and plug this freezer in now let's go ahead and unplug it from up here just gonna sit you down here shooting uh saying zero watts coming out of there so that just basically means these guys haven't turned on yet uh all right well, then we got a light just plug a light in and uh see what that does we'll go ahead and turn these perimeter lights on just to have them go on and uh yeah let me go get a, a light and we'll see what we got going. Part of my time. I've got a phone plugged in. It's charging. I got a uh, stopwatch going to see how long we run. Um, I've got a light in here. That's I'd say it's an LED light, so probably eight watts, maybe ten. Uh, I've got the two uh, refrigerator. I got the freezer going and the refrigerator. So that's reading 267 watts right now. And I've got uh, 2,400 uh, watt hours, I believe, for this. So we should be able to run that around 10 hours at that. So um, anyway, uh, it's a cloudy day right now. So even if I plug these in, use the solar panels in, uh, might not get anything. So I'm going to come check this back in a couple of hours and see where we're sitting. We started at 14 volts. So, uh, and that says 13 right now. So anyway, we'll come back in a couple hours and uh, we'll see where we're sitting. Farm life out. All right, we've been running for four hours and 12 minutes. Um, right now we are using 126 watts. I've got this little light, this uh, LED light. I think it's eight watts. I've got the fan blowing. That was only like about two. Um, look down, I got these perimeter lights on. We look in here, it says I still got 15 hours and four minutes still empty. We're at 84%, 167 amp hours left. That says we're using uh, 11 amps and 145 watts. So, um, and I think uh, once these refrigerators go off, that drops all the way down to, you know, just probably 30 amps or whatever. So anyway, uh, like I said, four hours, we really haven't done much. So they still have 15 hours left. So we'll uh, come check it. Uh, football game is going to be starting here pretty soon. So we'll come back and check it. Farm life out. So my uh, stop watch says two hours and 13 minutes. It was uh, four hours and some odd minutes. Uh, had some technical difficulties. Ended up stopping that when I didn't want to. 
Um, as you can see, uh, now we're just uh, using 9 watts. So the refrigerators are off. That When it was at 260, probably the refrigerator's doing its uh, defrost cycle. So now we're at 76%. On our meter, it says nine hours. Now it says uh, 89 hours. So that just, uh, what's that saying? Is we're not burning anything. So got 150 amp hours uh, remaining. We're burning, looks like 22.4 watts. And that's accompanying all the lights and the inverter and the phone. So, uh, and the light. So, uh, Anyway, uh, and our battery now is at 13.2. So, <clears throat> this looks like so far it's a pretty good test. Um, anyway, so it's, like I said, it's been uh, basically six hours. I think I started this at 10 after 8. And it is, right now, it is 2.55. So, 3 o'clock is at... Uh, four, five, six, seven hours. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, working pretty good. This is what I would be using it for in the house. I got a freezer downstairs. I got a refrigerator in the kitchen. And then I wouldn't, you know, I'd have a light going. And I'd have my, uh, probably have also the internet going or something like that. So, anyway, this is working out pretty good. Uh, this, we'll check it again uh, after the game, probably about 4.30 or so. Anyway, Farm Life out. Alrighty, fans of Farm Life. We're coming up on 10 hours of running this. And we are at, uh, I'll try not to align with that light there. We're at 65%, 129 amp hours. Uh, we've putting out, uh, or we're using 22.4 watts, 1.7 amps, and it says we have 76 hours until empty. Battery's at 13.2. Uh, it's been kind of running steady all day. Uh, when, the, when the fridge kicks in or the freezer kicks in, then it'll, it'll, it'll go up to about 280 watts. But, uh, other than that, uh, things are doing pretty good. I'm going to turn the fan off because I don't think I need that. It's going to get too cold. I'm going to turn the fan off. And then that's going to take us now uh, to, all right, we're still at 22.4 watts. That fan doesn't run very much. So uh, here we are off. Okay. Yep. So this is looking like a pretty good test. I think in real life, um, I'm not going to use much. I might throw the internet on there, put the router on. Um, if we make coffee, we just use a camping stove. Don't really use any appliances. I'm not even going to test a microwave on here because I don't even think I would use one. And if I did, what am I going to use for 30 seconds or something like that? So, anyway, uh, this looks like it's working pretty good. I think tomorrow, if it's sunny out or even close to sunny, I'll, uh, hook the solar panels up and see if we can keep up with uh, what we're using versus uh, what's coming in. If we're only using 9 watts, we should be able to. Anyway, uh, this is halfway through the test. Farm life out. So, uh, it's kind of hard to see. I turned those other lights off. You can see in there we're at 55%. Got still got uh, 65 hours to go before it turns into empty. And, uh, so we're just going to let it roll. Uh, let's see, I don't know what that's at. That's using 22 watts. But I'm going to turn that light off here. Turn the light back. So we're only using about uh, 9 watts. It still says 13.1. 13.1 uh, volts on the... Turn that up. It says 12.9 there. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and check this in the morning. See what it says. Still says 65 hours, so that should be good for another 12. All right, Farm Life out. All righty, fans, Farm Life. I think we're going to conclude this test. 
So the stopwatch has this running for 19 hours plus another four and a half hours when I reset it. Uh, the uh, meter says we are at 37%. Uh, 74 uh, amp hours to go. That'd be 52 minutes. Um, we're only doing nine watts, so uh, these refrigerators are pretty efficient. Um, so, and uh, we're just going to test, make sure they are working. That still says, uh, you know, frozen, less than 10 degrees. And it's interesting. Whenever you open the door, the watts go up. So. And then uh, we'll check this one, this freezer, still frozen, everything is frozen in here. The fridge, everything is cold, of course it's cold out here, so horses are hungry. So yeah, lights on, everything works. So we're going to go ahead and conclude this test that the, uh, this will set up for uh, it's almost been running 24 hours, so I think I started at 8 o'clock yesterday morning, and it is uh, quarter to 8 right now, so anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and conclude this test, and uh, when the sun comes out, we'll do another test with this set up, install, uh, with the uh, solar panels hooked up, and see if we can uh, maintain, so anyway, far my time. Alrighty fans farm life. So we got this thing plugged in the panels. Got some good sun up there. It says we're uh, bringing in 68 watts, 5.2 amps. It says it's going to take 25 hours to completely fill this up. So we'll let it run until the uh, sun goes down around 4 o'clock. And uh, we'll see where we're sitting. We're sitting right now at 37%. And then uh, whatever doesn't get filled up, I'll just plug it in the charger. Farm Life out. Alrighty, fans, Farm Life. So it is uh, 3 o'clock. And uh, we are at 48%. Uh, still says, still charging. And. It says it's going to take 150 hours to uh, still get this thing charged all the way up. So it's obvious that it's not going to charge. I think uh, in the winter time, um, if we have to do uh, more than, because uh, it was a sunny day all day today, and uh, the most I saw on here was 100 watts. It was charging at one time. So. Uh, if we're taking this all the way down to 37%, then uh, uh, it charged up to 48. You know, I don't think we can sustain to sustain that on uh, 200 watts. It's, like I said, the most I saw was 100. So anyway, uh, and it's winter time, and those refrigerators uh, don't really come on. It's cold out in the garage. So, uh, if it was a summertime thing, you know, the house refrigerator and the house freezer, it's still, you know, uh, it's pretty, you know, warm upstairs, but cool downstairs. So, I don't know if this is viable. Maybe in the summertime, um, I got, we got chickens, we got dogs. Uh, anyway, in the summertime, I'm not sure how well this would work. Um, if we had to do this more than one or one day or two days otherwise i'd just have to get more panels so anyway uh i think this is a wrap on this test anyway farm life out